Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to see how to make a simple astrolabe. Astrolabe is the tool that you can use to measure the angle of altitude of space objects in the night sky, mostly stars. All you have to do is go to skullandskill.com website. Go to astronomy pages, free learning resources. There would be buttons over there you can download astrolabe print from. This is the printout I have already taken from for you. What you have to do is take this printout, paste this printout on a very hard surface, a hard surface such as this, such as this, a hard surface such as this, paste it on that hard surface and take the Take this out of that hard surface, cut it out from that hard surface. What you will get at the end of it would, would look something like this. All I have done is I have taken this printout, pasted it on a hard surface and took the cutting out of it so that I have a sturdy looking hard durable astrolabe with me look look how thick it is how hard it is this is how it would look like very simple right after this observe that there are degrees marked on the side of it on the side of this circular side of this quadrant i have also placed a straw over here the instruction is written attach straw along this edge I have placed the straw along the edge as written taped it so that it stays over there then I have taken a thread and tied a few knots over here at one end so that it does not pass through see it is not passing through right it stays over here it keeps the thread over here and on the other side I have placed a nut at the end of the thread so that it hangs properly like this. It hangs properly. It's very simple to make. All you have to do is follow the instructions. Simple. All right. Now we're going to see how to use it, how to use it to measure the angle of altitude of the space objects. What you have to do now is hold this astroloid in a way that this straw is parallel to the earth surface it's horizontal completely you have to look from here you have to look from here okay this thread has to be hanging at a at 90 degree to the earth surface perpendicular to the earth surface or perpendicular to this straw this right now is absolutely horizontal you have to look from here from this point and you have to tilt it in a way such that the object you are trying to look at in the night sky you can see through the straw so the light from the star will come in here inside this and it will pass through this and you'll be able to see it from here this is where your eyes are remember this is where your eyes are now as you start tilting it you tilt it tilt more and as soon as you are able to see the star through the straw from here you stop read this read, read this scale of angles read this scale do you see it is right now at 30 degrees the thread is coming on to 30 degree over here so the angle of altitude is 30 degree for you for that star if you keep on tilting it you can see the thread will move from its place and angles as the angle increases it moves from its place if you are looking right up into the sky like this the angle is 90 degree again showing it to you as you tilt it you are looking from here as you tilt it the angle will increase look at this scale not the upper scale look at the lower scale note the angle somebody someone else standing besides you has to observe and note the angle while you are looking from here you will not be able to see the angle someone else has to note it down for you what you can do is 
you can keep on tracking the same object through the night through weeks through months and you can trace the pattern of movement of that particular object in the night sky and do the analysis and study yourself of the objects in the night sky hope you understood it we really hope that you understood the making of the astrolog astrolabe and how to use it if you have any queries you can find our email whatsapp number contact number on skullandskill.com you can call us whatsapp us drop an email if you have any queries we will definitely get back and resolve any issue that you might have thank you so much for listening